morning guys. It's Monday, May 22nd, 2023. Start of a new week. Um, today is a six count session. 20 minutes. I'm going to work with the 10 just within that perimeter of a minute see what I can uh, <coughs> save up to um, for a last couple minutes uh, hard drive to see what I can get. Um, starting the week feeling pretty worn out. The last couple of Navy SEALs efforts, um, definitely feeling um, tired, heavy legs, chest and shoulders, triceps are sore, um, lower back is a little tight, it has been tight for a, a number of days. Um, it's mainly, I think, due to some uh, extra miles I put in uh, walking and running. Um, it, it's on a bike path, but it's still you know, not the same as being on the trails. So the back makes a little more beating. Um, so I'm just basically gonna cruise through. I'm gonna get to 10 per minute. Um, and again, just work on saving time. I'm not really pressed on any major effort. Um, we'll see um, how things are at the end and how much um, I'm able to push with the amount of time that I have saved up. Though I was saying about the Navy SEALs, um, the past three sessions, um, I managed to get 112, 114, which ties my best, and 113 yesterday. So I've been on a pretty good, pretty strong roll with those. And six counts have all been in the. Uh, mid to high 230s, which isn't a bad um, overall pace. You know, it's not uh, personal best territory, but it's within pushing distance of it, and it's not a bad average. Today's a good day to just cruise. Ten seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One. One, two, three, four. Six. One, two, three, four, five, 
seven, push, two, three, four, five, eight, push, two, three, four, five, nine, push, two, three, four, five, ten, push, two, three, four, five, one, push, two, three, four, five, two, push, two, three, four, five, three, push, two, three, four, five, four, push, two, three, four, five, five, push, two, three, four, five, six, push, two, three, four, five, seven, push, two, three, four, five, eight, push, two, three, four, five, nine, push, two, three, four, five, ten, push, two, three, four, five, one, push, two, three, four, five, two, push, two, three, four, five, three, push, two, three, four, five, four, push, two, three, four, five, five, push, two, three, four, five, six, push, two, three, four, five, seven, push, two, three, four, five, eight, push, two, three, four, five, nine, push, two, three, four, five, ten, push, two, three, four, five, one, push, two, three, four, five, two, push, two, three, four, five, three, push, two, three, four, five, four, push, two, three, four, five, five, push, two, three, four, five, six, push, two, three, four, five, seven, push, two, three, four, five, eight, push, two, three, four, five, nine, push, two, three, four, five, ten, push, two, three, four, five, one, push, two, three, four, five, two, push, two, three, four, five, three, push, two, three, four, five, four, push, two, three, four, five, five, push, two, three, four, five, six, push, two, three, four, five, seven, push, two, three, four, five, eight, push, two, three, four, five, nine, push, two, three, four, five, ten, push, two, three, four, five, one, push, two, three, four, five, two, push, two, three, four, five, three, push, two, three, four, five, four, push, two, three, four, five, five, push, two, three, four, five, six, push, two, three, four, five, seven, push, two, three, four, five, eight, push, two, three, four, five, nine, push, two, three, four, five, ten, push, two, three, four, five, one, push, two, three, four, five, two, push, two, three, four, five, three, push, two, three, four, five, four, push, two, three, four, five, five, push, two, three, four, five, six, push, two, three, four, five, seven, push, two, 
three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, four, five, three. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, four. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, five. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, seven. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. One, two, 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 three, four
two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, four, five, three. One, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, four. I think. Ooh. So I'm gonna have to start pushing. Three minutes harder. See if I can get an extra 14 minutes in there. Grabbing some rest when I can. <coughs> I think that's doable. Sprint, rest, sprint for three minutes versus what I'm doing now, which is just accumulating the tens again for the uh, for two minutes in that remainder of three, using the accumulated time <coughs> to get some rest, and then I start sprinting. Um, I'm really going to need a three-minute sprint, otherwise. I'm sort of stuck here in the mid 230s. Stuck here amidst the potentiality of doing more. So there's no shame being stuck anywhere. You're not really stuck. 
nothing's ever stuck. Everything's moving, everything's in flux. Everything is shifting into the next thing, into the next form, manifesting as something in the appearance of other. But things can certainly feel stuck. My legs are really heavy, so. Um, or they're really heavy today due to the weekend's effort. Um, so 2.36, holding that pace really isn't bad at all. They're largely unbroken. My loose definition of unbroken. I'm staying in that one spot, I'm not shifting. <coughs> I'm not even putting my head down until later. And then I'll put my head down. And I believe only once did I step back um, and put my head down to catch my breath. So I need to remember, um, get in my three minutes, three minutes plus. Um, get a little bit of early rest time, and then just go right in, sprinting. Even if I take 15 seconds into that three minutes, um, and then sprint. You know, again, as I was saying, sprint, rest, sprint. Um, I think it would push me up. Either way. Happy I did it. Happy I'm done. We're going to do some pull-ups. Slight switch. Um, I've been doing pull-ups with my Navy SEALs, alternating uh, <coughs> um, dips and kettlebell press. One arm kettlebell press. But um, that's a lot of three big moves after Navy SEALs, which are hard. Um, so, what I'm going to do is switch over my snatches after the Navy Seals Day, which is really nice decompression for my shoulders uh, after the um, heavy vertical pushing that I've been doing. <coughs> Pull ups are too. But again, it's a lot of bigger moves. So, on my Navy Seals Day, I will be alternating between my seal, my, sorry, my dips my kettlebell press and snatches, which gives me a lot of recovery from the pushing movements, <coughs> or more so, um, recovery. And then I'll do pull-ups by themselves after my six minutes. Although I might do pull-ups and squats, <coughs> but not today. As I said, my legs are pretty heavy. Probably do six down on my pull-ups. Some days, uh, gravity weighs a little heavier down on a soul. The trick is, don't fight gravity. It's pulling you downwards a bit, go with the flow. Don't push it. Cooperate. Tap into the force.
seven on the first round. One thing is, it's nice to um, build. <coughs> I'm only focusing on one thing, generally speaking. Maybe two if I go in squats, body weight squats. Um, <coughs> after each. <coughs> so, example, I'm doing my six counts, and then I'm just doing pull ups. Or chins. I'll be alternating pull-ups and chins. Um, I'll be alternating uh, pull-ups, chins, weighted pull-ups, and weighted chins. Different sessions, all depending on how I feel. Um, but again, it's nice knowing I'm just focusing on that right after my six counts, and then I'm done. Um, and then Navy SEALs, I'm either doing dips after, one on a kettlebell press after, or Snatches. Five rows. some stuff away while we're talking, while we're resting. Seven, six, five. I got four coming up next. I'm just going back in time, looking at what I did last year today. Last year I was doing pull-ups first. Actually almost every day I was doing pull-ups first. Um, I try to move faster between sets now that the reps are getting low. Two and a one coming up.
One more. One more set, one more rep. Guys, that's it. Let's get this a little bit closer. <clears throat> um, I had a great conversation, uh, brief but great, with uh, Gus and Aldo, Gainesville, and. Um, motivation uh, I'm drawing a blank on his whole title um, I'll put the link hopefully I'll remember um, Aldo's channel um, fitness motivation I think I'm probably wrong um, and we were talking about um, altered states of reality non-ordinary reality um, which is basically a uh, shamanic journey. Many people, many of us, have uh, had a first sense of um, non-ordinary non reality, uh, psychotropic drugs, hallucinogens, uh, LSD, mushrooms, peyote, um, all stuff that I experimented with when I was a kid. I say experimented, but you know, a lot of it was recreational, although, there's a deep reverence for using it, um, at least recreationally, the way I did, which was uh, a lot of it was at uh, Grateful Dead shows, when you did it to fully and deeply experience the music, where literally the drums, the guitar, everything was vibrating through your body. There was a string of vibrational energy from Jerry Garcia's uh, drums from Kretzmann's drums, from, I'm sorry, from Garcia's uh, guitar, Kretzmann's drums, Mickey Hart's drums, um, and you literally, um, you would feel it leave their instrument, leave their fingers, um, and rush out through the crowd, vibrating through all of us. Um, and I had the same experience when I uh, quit um, using those type of substances. Uh, I went the shows uh, completely straight. Um, the drumming itself, the guitar work itself, could all get you there. Um, doing a little bit of uh, shamanic journeying with uh, drum work CDs, uh, entering non-ordinary states of uh, reality. More so as a creative input and to touch and communicate with nature. Uh, I use it in my writing. The things that I encounter outside when I'm walking, when I'm running, uh, different uh, birds, different animals, what would they wish to communicate to me if they, uh, if I was open to receive that communication? Uh, and it's been a, a profound practice, as deep as meditation. Um, and, you know, of course, many of us have had the sense of non-ordinary reality as children, when things were a little more seamless, when we didn't have the uh, structure of ordinary reality that we have now because we didn't know that things were imaginary. Um, for us, everything just was. Uh, I told the story that uh, the Jesuit priest, um, East Indian born Jesuit priest, so he had a deep connection with the mythology of Hinduism uh, with that uh, awakening sense of Eastern um, practices. And he told about the bird, the magical flying creature um, that became lost to us when someone told, it, told us it was just a bird. We no longer saw the magic in it. Um, Non-ordinary reality just recaptures the magic. Um, and there's a great book I recommended to Gus and he ordered um, Bone Games. Bone Games was a book where the uh, came out in the early 80s, and I first read it in the early 80s. Um, I think it might have been the 
11 or 12 when it came out and it profoundly affected my life um, because I realized that I could recapture that um, uh, lost state of non-ordinary reality that was just on the cusp of being lost forever you know as I was entering young uh, my preteen years into my teen years um, and it allowed me to keep that sense of wonder um, the author of Bone Games fell off a mountain when he was climbing in Colorado and he injured himself and as he made his way off the mountain uh, working his way towards safety he entered that non-ordinary state of reality due to pain, due to exhaustion, due to the weather conditions, all kinds of things um, affected his sense of reality so that he entered this flow state of consciousness where he was performing these great feats of, that was beyond his regular athletic ability, beyond his climbing ability, uh, but he had to for sheer survival. Um, when he got off the mountain and he thought about that, he wanted to recapture it. To it. He explored the uh, Zen meditation, he explored psychology, he explored uh, shamanism, and that's where he got the title Bone Games. Bone Games is a shamanic game played by certain uh, Native American tribes where they would um, hide a pebble or something on their body and the shaman would shake the stick, um, a bone, sorry, Adam, and pinpoint exactly where um, the bone was hidden. The shaman would uh, enter that non-ordinary state of reality where things were um, more fluid. You could see things that we don't normally see. That We call it non-ordinary because of where we are now. But really, it's a seamless connection. Um, it's not a separate reality, uh, although that's a great book by Carlos Castaneda. Um, it is just a non-ordinary state from where we are right now. When we sleep, we enter different states of um, reality. We enter the um, a light sleep, dream sleep, um, deep consciousness, deep rest, um, and then we go back to our waking consciousness. It's all one consciousness <coughs> expressed differently. Um, burpees are a great way, because of the rhythmic quality of it, are a great way, a great way to enter that non-ordinary state of reality. And we really do, when we let go, when we surrender to that um, force of gravity that I mentioned earlier, and we just perform the burpee. We just put our head down, we do a rep. We put our head down, we do a rep. Nothing else matters. It's not a, a life or death situation that we're in. It's not um, uh, like falling off a mountain. But nothing else matters because we're not doing anything else. We're just doing burpees. It's that force of um, concentrated effort. Not concentration so much as concentrated effort. Um, you know, when I think of concentration, I think with our, our brows furrowed and we're really, you know, stuck on this one aspect. Um, we want a greater awareness. We want a greater concentration. We want to be open to things. Thoughts coming, thoughts going. We're just not holding to any one static sense. We're in that state of flow. Everything's in flux. Everything is leading to the next. One rep automatically leads to the next rep. We're not doing separate reps. We're repping. Um, it's a big difference. It's a subtle difference. Um, but anyone watching this channel, anyone doing burpees, all my burpee friends out there, um, you know. You've been there. I mentioned that to uh, Aldo on those high rep sets that he does, especially um, Aldo uh, is one of those guys who embraces those things that are difficult for himself. Um, and when he does those high rep sets of Navy SEALs or six counts or whatever it is he's doing at the time, um, he's, it's not so much, you know, that you're concentrating on that one thing, you're concentrating on everything coming at once. Everything's in flux, everything's flowing. Um, this was really brought to mind um, deeply to me, watching Gus on um, some parallel bars at the um, park he was training at. And he was basically, doing stuff the author of Bone Games was doing, but he was doing them on the bars. And you could see it wasn't that deep sense of concentration. It was a deep sense of awareness. He was aware of his body. He was aware of his bars. He was aware of his breath. He was aware of the entire universe focused right there, that moment. Pretty impressive stuff. Um, so in a way, 
we are all shamans of the burpee game. Um, and I urge everyone to maybe uh, explore that a little bit. Um, if only to get that greater sense of awareness of who and what we are and what we're doing. All right, guys, um, that's it for today. Have a good start of your week, and I'll see everyone tomorrow. Take care.